Nope. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the difference between architecture and architectural engineering. Oh, my hands are so big. I just wanted to make this video for people who might be like in high school or like in college and like don't know what they want to do. Um, or I guess you could just be like an old person and like want to get into architecture. I'm just going to refer to architectural engineering as engineering because architectural engineering has way too many <laughs> syllables on it. So let's get to it. First off, let's start with some similarities. They're both design fields. Architecture is known for being more creative, but engineering is also a very creative field and it definitely is design. Design at its core is just problem solving in a creative way most of the time. I mean, you could solve it in like a boring way, but we, get, we have robots for that. Another similarity is that they both operate in the construction industry. They both mostly have to do with buildings. Both sides can branch off in kind of like really crazy directions for the most part. If you really want to work in building industries with buildings and the built environment, then architecture and architectural engineering will both get you there. The last similarity is that both architecture and engineers have to go through a licensure process and you definitely don't have to be licensed to practice but it opens up a lot of opportunities like you could start your own firm and your own practice, you could be promoted to project manager because you have to have a licensure to be able to stamp a project legally and it could just get you a higher salary because you're more qualified. Now for the differences. The major difference between architecture and engineering are the places they are in the design process. Architects are really involved early on. They talk to the client. Hello, rich people, Troy's joining you. And they understand the program and they come up with the concept, the idea, the, the big story for this building and what purpose it serves to the client or society or whomever. After the first phase of design, which is called schematic design, you moved into design development or DD and then construction documents, which is CD. Those two phases are where engineering firms tend to come in to play. And the engineers are like, I can do that. And they work back and forth during DD and CD to create a set of construction documents, which can be used uh, to construct the building. And then in the final phase, the longest phase, uh, construction, is very engineering heavy. The most important people during this phase are the construction managers because they have to make sure everything in the construction process goes to plan, which never will, but that's why the architects and the engineers play a small role during the construction process where they basically answer questions and fix um, issues that were not fixed in the first phases. And I know that this is a super simplified explanation of the design process, but this is just what I've learned from my own experience and um, you know, there's infinite ways that you can create a building. So just know I'm, I'm stupid. Another big difference between architecture and engineering is school. Architecture school is very different from engineering school, at least where I go to school, which is the university. <laughs> They're in completely different colleges, completely different curriculum. I think we maybe take one class in common, which is kind of crazy because they work together so much in the industry, but you never see them in school. Architecture is really like artsy and more into theory and history and like ideas about like what architecture means to society. Architects do have some technical classes, but overall it's way simpler than what the engineers do. Engineering students, they have to take all of the generic like physics, you know, statics, solids, thermo, all the sh Then they get to specialize in either structural, mechanical, MEP, or construction management. The last difference that I wanna talk about is how architects and engineers think, because they problem solve differently and it's kind of interesting and a really nice dynamic that I think is really interesting because I get to see both parts. So engineers, they approach problems really logically. Like if you've ever been in like a physics class or maybe any kind of math or science class, you probably have gone through the process where, you know, you take your givens and your knowns and then you gather your equations and your assumptions and then you rearrange things until they solve and you just plug everything in and it's like boom, 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 bing, bang, bong the answer, the solution is here. It's a very efficient and effective way to solve problems and it can be used in any situation. On the other hand, architects, their methodology is really kind of all over the place, which is, you know, chaotic. Architects, they usually start with precedence to see like what they might want to create, things that they are inspired by. It's just basically Pinterest. So they start with precedence and then they deconstruct those into ideas. And then you take the ideas and you remash them together 
until they form something unique and cool and different. That's the way they teach architecture. And this method it can be really frustrating and upsetting and the creative process is really difficult and challenging and you have to come into your own methodology of how you deal with that and how you cope with like creative blocks whereas I never have to do that with engineering homework. In conclusion, both of these methods of problem solving are extremely valid and extremely important and it's the combination of the two that really is why everything works. And I'm not saying that all engineers think this way or all architects think the other way and that engineers can't be creative and architects can't be logical because that's completely untrue. Um, I'm just saying in general, that's sausage, well, those are just a few of the similarities and differences between architects and engineers. I'm just a student and all these things I've just observed from my experience in both the engineering school and the architecture school. Just know I'm, I'm stupid. So go out, do your own research, and have a good day. And I'd really appreciate it if you left a like or you subscribed. That would be so cool. Oh.